Hello, Happiness Abounder, and welcome back. As we continue our friendly chat on overcoming procrastination, I want to pose a question. And I think that this question can be one of the most transformational things we can ask when it comes to overcoming procrastination. So here it is, out in front, first 30 seconds of this episode. How important is this? Because here's the thing. With procrastination, we tend to think, just for whatever reason, the more important it is or the more pressure there is behind it, the more we procrastinate. Because it feels overwhelming. It feels like a lot of pressure. And so we want to run away from that. And so when we want to run away from it, what do we do? Because we can't actually run away. We procrastinate. And all that happens in our brain very quickly. But the thing is, is that all that pressure, whether it's a large project and it's overwhelming or it's very important and it's overwhelming. If we want to overcome procrastination, we can't just accept that that's the thoughts and then the natural reaction is to procrastinate. Instead, we need to ask ourselves, how important is this? And if you're like me, you are a raider. So on a scale to, from one to 10, how important is this? 10 being the absolute most important thing ever, I need to get it done. And one being like, eh, not really that important. Because again, if we were to rank things on a scale, let's say you have a big project for work, for school, for religious community, whatever it is. Let's say you have a big project and it's pretty important. It's pretty big. It's pretty overwhelming. Maybe it's something you've never done before. It's going to take a lot of research. So it feels like a lot, right? Now, on a scale of one to 10, how important is that project? Let's rank it at a seven and a half, eight. So that's, that project is an eight on a scale of one to 10 importance. Now, if we don't rank and ask how important is this, and we don't do it on the scale of one to 10, what we tend to go is, that's really important, that's a lot, that feels overwhelming, I'm going to put it off, and now I'm gonna go clean this area. Now I'm gonna go, if you're me, what are all of my plants? Oh, and maybe it's time to repot a few of them. Oh, and maybe now that I've repotted a few, I need to go to the store and get some more dirt, and some nice new pots would be nice. And then next thing you know, six hours has gone by and my plants look fantastic. But on the scale of one to 10 in importance, that was a one project. It was not an important project, did not need to be done soon. Sure, maybe it needed to be done, but that's the thing. When it feels big and overwhelming and we don't rank and we don't ask how important is this, we run away and we run to the things that are lower on the importance scale. Or we run to the things that are the quick wins scale. It's a quick win to repot my plants because now they look nice. Now they look healthy. I feel better about it. Yes, it was something on my to-do list, so I feel accomplished. But in the back of my mind, that great big project is still looming. So then what do I do? Well, now that I've done all this stuff with my plants, I should probably clean my kitchen. <laughs> is this sounding familiar to you? Because I know it can't be just me. But the way to pivot this, the way to really look at the importance and the prioritization of what you're doing to overcome procrastination is to ask and rank, how important is this? Because if you have a list of things that you need to do, and one of them is huge and overwhelming, you've heard the phrase, eat the elephant first. Take those big projects, those things that are overwhelming and do them first. We know that in theory, in concept but in actual practical application, we don't ever want to eat the elephant first. We start with the little rabbits that are easy, that are quick to help us feel like we're accomplishing something when we're really trying to procrastinate towards the big project, the elephant in the room, right? So a mind shift. If this project is an eight and I have ranked my to-do list, like this is what I'm going to do, this is what I need to do. And this project's an eight, and this project's a two, a four, and a five, right? As we kind of go through the list, you will then have a system to help you overcome procrastination. Because you'll see that eight and go, holy cow, 
yes, this is really important. I need to do it. And it can shift from that automatic template of let's go do the ones, twos, and things like that because we don't have it organized. It's not on paper and we just want to run away. Is this making sense? Now, here's one other thing you might want to flip. For me, the higher the number, the bigger the importance. But maybe you flip it and you go, number one is the most important. Ten is the least important. Because then when you are building that list of to-dos, you can go in numerical order of what is the most important, starting at number one, right? So depends on how your brain works, depends on what resonates with you there, but you want to ask yourself, ultimately, the key to all of this is ask yourself, how important is this? And then rank it in a way that makes sense for you. Because that takes us out of that running away habit and into the space of accomplishing something. And we know what happens. I mean, I just outlined it with my plant example. Yeah, I'll just repot my plants. And then it becomes this long list and this long line of other things I could do so that I don't have to work on the big project. In the workspace, this looks like answering emails, checking your social media and your LinkedIn. Oh yeah, I wasn't planning on going to that meeting, but I will now. You need me there, right? In the home space, right, I used repotting plants, but one of the easiest and most convenient things that we may not do all the time, but comes into play when we want to procrastinate is cleaning because it goes like this. I'm just going to wipe off my countertops. Great. Now that looks awesome, but I just wiped off all my countertops. So now I need to mop my floor. Oh, so I've swept and mopped my floor and my baseboards look terrible. I'm going to need to clean my baseboards. Well, now my walls just look like they're a mess. I'm going to need to scrub my walls and my windows now, like the house looks great, but the windows are messy. I'm going to have to go outside and pressure wash my windows. We went from a simple, I'm going to just wipe off the kitchen counter before I get going on this big project to cleaning the whole house and doing projects that you do like once or twice a year, like baseboards and windows. You get where I'm going with this. Your brain will find every excuse. We'll find every task and project that's lower on the scale. So you don't have to do the big project. So cut that off at the pass. Write down what you could be doing. Write down that to-do list that includes that big project and put the number next to it of how important it is and start with the most important thing first to help you overcome procrastination. So I hope this makes sense. I hope that it resonates with you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. You can find me at happinessabound.com, at happinessabound blog on Facebook, happiness underscore abound on Instagram. And if you search happiness abound pretty much anywhere, I should come up. I do have a Twitter. I have IGTV, YouTube, Pinterest, the works. And all of those have some form of communication. So if you have a question on this, just find me wherever this works for you and send me a comment, send me a message, and I'm happy to go into more detail or maybe even hop on a call to discuss this number ranking system if I was not clear. But I hope that I was and I hope that this resonates with you and that is a great thing you can put in your toolbox, a great tool in your toolbox that you can use when you want to overcome procrastination and that you can use as a helpful little hint the next time you are procrastinating you go, Oh, yeah, I just said I was going to clean the kitchen counters and now I'm cleaning baseboards and windows, probably procrastinating something. <laughs> so again, I hope this episode resonates with you. If it does, let me know. If you have questions, comments, concerns, also let me know. As always, I would love to hear from you. So that said, have a wonderful day. Be sure to ask yourself how important is this and rank as such and above everything else. Remember, you are capable of happiness abound.